Hello and welcome to Basic Medical Sciences. If this is your first time, you know what you have to do. Please hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of our latest videos. Right, so in this video, we're going to talk about Moraxella cataralis. Right, Moraxella cataralis. Right, okay, so the first thing, Moraxella cataralis belong to the family Niseracea. Niseracea. Right, so the family Niseracea is composed of five genera, right, and they include Niseria, Moraxella, Kingiella, uh, Asinetobacter, Oligella, right, but we are only going to talk about two, Moraxella and Kingiella, right, so these are the uh, two main important genera. Right, and we're just covering uh, mainly Moraxella cataralis because uh, it's very important. If you remember in our introduction video, I said we'll cover it. It's uh, in croc examination. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, in other examinations, you might see it. Moraxella cataralis causes two major diseases, the otitis media and upper respiratory infection in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, the COPD or emphysema, or uh, in elderly, right? So, uh, you know, like this bacteria, Moraxella cataralis, is part of uh, the normal respiratory flora, right? So you need to remember that, right? Uh, what are the clinical features? Now, uh, starting with the uh, otitis media, right? Otitis media uh, uh, is inflammation of middle ear. I told you that uh, this middle ear infection occurs in about 80% of all children by the age of three. Uh, it is caused by three main bacteria, right? Uh, Streptococcus pneumonia, it covers, uh, it causes about 30% of the cases. Hemophilus influenza, it covers about uh, 25%. And Moraxella, the one we are talking about right now, about 15 to 20% of the cases are caused by Moraxella cataralis. Cases of what? Cases of otitis media. Right. The second co condition I said is exacerbation of COPDs, right? So the worsening of wheezing, shortness of breath, thus uh, dyspnea and coughing right these exacerbations are often associated with an acquisition of a new strain of non-typeable hemophilus influenza or an infection with moraxella cataralis and uh, this occurs in about 30 percent of the cases moraxella cataralis also causes pneumonia in elderly right it causes pneumonia in elderly right so um another genera i told you about kigella right so kigella king right kigella king is the uh is the most frequent human pathogen of the king kingella genera right so it frequently colonizes the throats of young children and causes septic arthritis and osteomyelitis right uh, in children and adults it can cause endocarditis of native and prosthetic valves right you need to pay attention here uh, especially in endocarditis right because uh, because kingella king is commonly grouped with several slow-growing gram-negative pathogens known to cause endocarditis, uh, right? Like that group, uh, there is a mnemonic, is called ASEC. I don't know how, they just find a way to pronounce this ASEC, ASEC, right? Uh, what is this? H4, Hemophilus species, Acinobacillus for A, uh, Cardiobacterium species for C, Echinella species, and Kigella species. So you see it here, the last one, Kigella, right? So, okay, that's it. Uh, uh, you know, uh, this bacteria again, this Kigella king, 
is uh, very red. I, I haven't seen it in crop examination so far. Uh, but just be prepared. You never know what they will ask. Right. So let's just talk about treatment of Moraxella cataralis and conclude this video. Right. So uh, we can use azithromycin or clarithromycin. Uh, we can also use amoxicillin with clavulinate acid. It's commonly known as amoxicillin clavulinic acid or amoxicillin clavulinate. Um, we can use oral second or third generation cephalosporin. And uh, the last one is trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. Right. Moraxella cataralis is usually resistant to penicillin right you need to remember that as more, uh, in most cases is resistant to penicillin thank you so much if you like this video make sure you subscribe uh, so that you won't miss any of our latest videos until next time head bound